the softer side of Shannon O'Neill. One, two, three, four. <laughs> I will not acknowledge that chant. Welcome to the Chris <laughs> Gethard Show. I am your host, Chris Gethard. I want to say hi to everybody watching live on MNN. I want to say hi to everybody watching live at thechrisgethardshow.com, as well as everybody downloading this in the future via our archives. I want to say thanks to the LLC for playing us in. The man behind the plant, Manning Twitter. Please communicate with him. He, he is standing by for all your needs. Mimi on the Hoops has been sporting a variety of light-up hoops the past few weeks. Just killing it. And we want to say hello to everybody. Even before we even get into this week's show, we also wanted to just mention, everybody should go um, to thechrisgethardshow.com. Check out our message board for info on next week's show. We're running a film festival where we Woo! need you to submit films. Viewers submitted films. It's called the Cannes Film Festival. The winner will get some old cans. So please <laughs> look up the info on that. And please do submit. We need as many submissions as we can get. But tonight is not about that. Uh, at all, so do check that out online and please participate next week. I want to thank all of our panelists. Big curveball thrown at the show tonight. This has never happened. <laughs> Last week, all of us up here remember, we did our blindfold episode. It was a hit. <laughs> at the end of the episode, we said we don't have a random and we have to go ahead and get our new random discovery. We didn't know how that was gonna happen. And a, a woman named Manisha, random Manisha. Manisha just jumped right up. <laughs> she just rolled up. She is here. That's oh my her. God. <laughs> random Manisha rolled up, literally fell into my arms. Like literally, I grabbed someone and fell over, and it was this woman. She said, I will be your new random. <laughs> random Manisha, no need to boo, no need to boo. We barely explained what's going on to she her. Maybe dead. You can't boo. I know. <laughs> Bethany's got so much leg room tonight because. <laughs> And, next 15 weeks. Yeah, we're just going to call this out now. If she never shows up again, that's an empty chair for 15 weeks. <laughs> this is the era of random Manisha. We're committing to that even if she has chosen not to. So she's welcome to come by anytime she wants. I don't know if she'll show up later, um, but any week she wants to come, that is her chair. If she never comes, it will just be awkward for four straight months. <laughs> and if anybody knows her or how to get in touch with her, let us know, because I literally have no idea. Literally have no idea. So that's that. <laughs> also want to welcome Murph, the Reservoir Dog. How you doing, man? Any more, um, any more word from those Gimgul clowns, or is, are they laying low this week? No, I think, they're, I think they're laying low. I think, uh, I think whoever uh, pretended to be from Gimgul, I don't think it actually was. <laughs> that was, that was, that was week. faux Gimgul. Yeah, they, they, were, they were worried about that. Uh, people are saying that there's going to be threats to my family, though, which yeah. is interesting. Fuck that. Yeah. You don't seem like a man who stands those kind of threats. No, 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 no. If anyone wants to make those kind of threats, you're in for a world. Uh, because I can drop off the grid like that, but remember, you're a public. Even though you think you're private, I got all your names, you're public. <laughs> I can disappear, you can't. So you want to threaten my family, now we're getting real. <laughs> all right. I can't. Can't wait to see how this one turns out. Can't wait to see who's the first person to make a gift for our Tumblr that says, I can disappear, you can't. <laughs> can't wait to see. Bethany Hall, the heart and soul of the Chris Gethard Show, the emotional center, everything. The only good human being on this panel. Bethany, what's up? Not much. Okay. <laughs> now, if M Random Manisha never shows, that's like a big empty void. You don't care, you like it. I, you know, I can't use it. Okay. I'm going to send pillows or something. You should. You should start bringing, you should start decorating that. <laughs> the creature from the sea. 
the half man, half fish, figuring out this world of men, the human fish. How are you tonight? Human fish, human fish. What's he thinking? Human fish. <laughs> Smoke weed every day versus. No, 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 that's heroin! <laughs> <laughs> Who wins? Smoke weed every day. But tonight is about a very special friend of mine, and all of the, all of the people who have been introduced are near and dear to my heart. But tonight is about this person to my left. Sure. Last week, she proclaimed that she wants nothing to do with the emotional, emo side of this show. Does not want to reveal any of herself. Yeah, my life's not your business. Her life is not your business, so we immediately turned around and have made tonight's show <laughs> entitled The Softer Side of Shannon O'Neill. Right. Yeah. She always tells it like it is. She says her life is not your biz. Her will is strong, her love is tough. But she's a diamond in the rough. <laughs> Soft side of Shannon O'Neill. We're gonna find out how she feels. Soft side of Shannon O'Neill. You've been, maintain you've been maintaining since you showed up in the studio tonight. No one is breaking through to your softer side. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what they could. Yeah. People are going to call up. They're going to ask you for genuine advice on their lives. They're going to give you compliments and let, them, let you know what they like about you so much. That's their problem. <laughs> None of that will warm your heart. If I don't someone know. calls up I don't and they even... really need advice and you can give it, you're not going to open up and reveal things about yourself? I'm not a licensed therapist. Neither am I, but I do it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> I know you do. We know something more about Shannon, though. I'm not She's a not <laughs> We did. We're starting to warm you up. Yeah. So you, you predict Let's that see there's... what happens. You... I don't know. I don't know exactly what this is. Neither do any of us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll figure it out. But I know you so well. I would say I know you as well as I know anybody um, in Maybe. my life. And I know for a fact that you've been there for me, and you have a very soft, sweet side. I'm not going to... Help a bunch of fucking names on a teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> that being said, let's go to our first name on a teleprompter. I think for the fifth week in a row, this guy's our first caller. Andre from Massachusetts, welcome back. Hey. How are you? I'm pretty good. That's so good. So we need to compliment Shannon. You can compliment Shannon. You can ask her for life <laughs> advice. If there's any struggles you're going through, maybe she can be empathetic and relate to those struggles and let you know how she got through them. Um, I guess I'll compliment her. Um, Shannon, I've seen you do comedy live improv, and I think you are one of the most talented improv comedians I've ever seen. Oh, a talented improviser. Yeah. 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 Does this young man's opinion matter to you? Guess what? We already knew that. <laughs> hey, Andre, your compliment was met with a... Um, no, it's very an, nice, An ice-cold level of no. narcissism. <laughs> No, that's very no, that's very nice. Okay. Of course you always of course we always like, as comedians you gotta hear that stuff. Okay, you're brushing it off. Yeah. You're I'm not brushing, brushing it off. You are, you're like, ah, eh, whatever, of course. No, no, I'm saying though, it does mean something. I think anytime someone compliments us, it does mean a lot. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there, we're getting there. But we're getting not there. but you don't always show it because you don't know how to deal with it. But you never show it. No. All right, let's go ahead. Joey from Las Vegas. Joey from Las Vegas, welcome That's to the show. That's it for Andre? Yeah, that was a compliment. That's Great. the whole bit. Okay. Joey from Las Vegas, welcome. I hope welcome. we have enough calls. Hi, I'm, I'm sorry. Hold on one second. I was stuck on, uh, I'm still stuck on the last caller, but it just changed me. I'm going to pause in. Well, you can listen to what we're saying. Yeah, you just listen on, listen on the phone, Joey. Yeah, I turned it, I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Joey, how's it going tonight? Uh, it's pretty good. How about you? I'm good. You sound like a very serious man. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> okay, well, talk to us. Tonight we're trying to... Um, I, I wanted to say that I think Shannon will open up if she wants to open up. It's her business, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, Joey. Well, thank you for the note on our whole show. <laughs> no, I think that's true, but I just, Joey, I just tell you, I know Shannon. I've been through so much with Shannon, and she's someone I have leaned on so many times. True or false? True. And I know we can make it happen in the next hour. <laughs> I just know we can. So, Joey, did you want to say anything else, or did you just want to let us know that tonight is not no, your no, favorite time? No, topic? no, no. Uh, I actually wanted to say that when I turn 18, I'm moving to New York. Ooh. Okay. And uh, I won't really know anybody there. 
So I was wondering if you guys might be my friends. Yeah. 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 Let's everybody on the panel, if you're willing to hang out with this guy, Joey, at least once, raise your hand. Sure. One time? <laughs> two times. Keep your hands up for two times. <laughs> Three times. You wait, you're not into two? Human fish, not, not into two times, but we'll hang out for three times. <laughs> if you commit to three, he's back in. All right, Joey, yeah, come hang out. When you move here, when will this be? Okay. We like uh, when? <laughs> Monday? Mo did you say Monday? Uh, no, sorry. I wanted to say that also, that I'm going there to study comedy, and I noticed that you guys have a school, right? UBS or whatever? <laughs> <laughs> Joey, I really want to commend you for sitting on the prank nature of your call as long as you did. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, but I wanted to go to you guys' school. Do you, would you recommend me going to your guys' school? Yeah, it's a great just, place. You just got to learn what it is first, Joey. <laughs> well, I looked it up. You guys do, um, do improv classes and then sketch classes. Yeah, yeah. we do that. <laughs> What are you getting at, to be Joey? Honest, I can barely hear you guys. All I'm hearing is loud laughter. <laughs> yeah, because I think everyone's trying to figure out if this is a prank call or not. No, this is, this is completely serious. Okay. <laughs> the school is called UCB. What? <laughs> I'm sorry, I really can't hear you. My phone like, has been broken for the past week. I'm trying to get a new one. That's I, okay. I, if I can call in the next week, I'll call in with a better phone. I'm sorry. No, it's okay, Joey. And we'll hang out with you when you get to New York. And, uh... <laughs> Hey, have a good night, Joey. <laughs> have a good night. Okay. Let's go ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the phones. Well, I, think, I think perhaps uh, the current darling of the show, the man that, call, that our audience seems to love the most right now, let's everybody keep it call steady. Call sets back on the line. You work all day, you'll be feeling out. It's so good to come home to your friend the couch. Oh, yo, 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 you got to keep it cow steady. That's his thing, you keep it cow steady. The keeper of the Battle Dome taught us that. Oh, I thought it was a triangle. Calstead, welcome back to the show. How are you doing? Hey! How you doing, Mr. Chan? Long time no see. This is Carlton. Yes, yes. It's great to hear from you again, my friend. Oh, yeah. And I just want to say that the LLC is the greatest band since ever. I think that's fair. I think that's a fair assessment. Uh, uh, Miss Chan, I want to ask, are you a dog person? Am I a dog person? Yeah. Yes, I am. Well, Mr. Bench wants to say hello. Mr. Say Bench? hello, Mr. Bench. I love you. I love you. I love you. Callstead, is your dog Bench. named Mr. Bench? Oh, I'm sorry. He usually doesn't. He's a little bit shy right now. What is your dog's name? Well, how are you guys doing? Who are you doing? <laughs> We're doing pretty good. We're trying to um, break through so the viewers of our show can see Shannon's soft and tender side. We're having no luck so far. Well... You know, I just wanted to ask uh, Miss Shannon. Um, oh, I heard Mr. What, what, what Miss Barbara <laughs> Streisand saw of a movie didn't you cry at the end of? What movie didn't you cry at the end of? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Looper? <laughs> I cried at all of them. I even cried at the end of Mr. Fockers. It's such a heartwarming movie. Meet the Fockers? <laughs> Meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers. Well, <laughs> you know, I just wanted to say hi to Mr. Twitter, and I wanted to say hi to the Mr. Empty Chair, and I wanted to talk about the recent death of Marvin Hanley. Okay, yeah, the floor is yours, man. Talk about that. <laughs> Well, Mr. Hamlet, he was the greatest penis since the guy who wrote the Ice Cream Truck song. Okay. And I figured, since you guys were spotlighting on the softer side of Shannon, that you, Miss Shannon, would join me in a duet on the greatest collaboration since two people, since Adam and Eve, on the way on You Don't Bring Me Flowers Anymore. So Calstead wants you to... You don't bring me to... flowers anymore? I, I... Yeah. 
I don't know that fucking song, man. <laughs> well, I happen to have it on my karaoke if you'd like to join me. And Great. I can I'll look through the camera and look at the words. <laughs> Calstead, yeah. if you want to get going, best, maybe man. Shannon can pick up on it and yeah. join in. <laughs> and this, is, this was, uh, was this Barbara Streisand? Oh, yeah, well, it was between Miss Barbara Streisand and the guy with the hair, Mr. Neil Diamond. Oh. Okay, so Calstead, you do the Neil Diamond part. Shannon will get up on the Barbara Streisand part. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, let me get, let me cue it up there. <laughs> now, Miss Shannon, you go. You don't bring me flowers. You don't bring me flowers. You don't write the love songs. You don't write the love songs. And then I go. You hardly talk to me anymore. When I walk through the door at the end of the day. This is just like one of the movie duets. I remember when. Oh, yeah, wait, we're going to call up the lyrics in here, Calstead. <laughs> All right. I remember when. Man behind the plant on the ball tonight. Let's you used to hate to leave me. Okay. Where are we right now? Just pick a random line. Calstead will catch on. I remember when you couldn't wait to love me. <laughs> you stayed to leave me. Now after loving me late at night. When it's good. When it's good. <laughs> and you're doing all right. <laughs> well, you just roll over and turn off the light. And you don't bring me flowers anymore. <laughs> It used to be so natural. It used to be. Can't talk about forever. Mm. <laughs> but used to be don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till they sweep them away. I can't believe this Baby, is working. I remember all the things you taught me. I learned how to laugh and I learned how to cry. I learned how to love and I learned how to lie. So you think I could learn how to tell you goodbye? So you think I could learn how to tell you goodbye? <laughs> you don't bring me flowers anymore. <laughs> and then we both go, well, you think I could learn how to tell you goodbye? Oh, I should have sung that with you. Because you don't say you need me. You don't sing me love songs. And then we both You don't bring me flowers anymore. You don't bring me flowers anymore. Yeah! I know that song. You don't bring me flowers anymore. Calstead is the greatest caller in the history of this show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Easily, easily. Calstead, thank you. Thanks, Mr. Chris. I got one last question for Mr. Human, if that's okay. I didn't... Oh, my God. This is the longest call yet. But the floor is yours, man. Uh, Mr. Human, land versus home. <laughs> None of us could hear that. <laughs> Mr. Human, land versus home. Oh, land versus home. <laughs> Mr. Fish is oh, wow, wait, the human fish is really struggling with this one. <laughs> the human fish? I've never seen him struggle like this at all. He's really homesick, which is also seasick. <laughs> <laughs> Land is home. Land and home are becoming one? Whoa. What? The evolution of the human fish is happening before our eyes. But we do know that in the future, he becomes the most wise sage of yeah. all. <laughs> well, maybe I just helped. Okay, Calstead wants to help. Is that okay? Calstead, human fish is willing to accept your help. Well, human fish, first things first, you gotta keep it calm steady. <laughs> Woo! And my head writers are telling me to wrap this call up. And <laughs> Calstead, I refuse to do so. <laughs> well, thanks, Mr. Chris. I just got one last question. Did you talk to Mr. Allstate? Oh, no, I haven't heard from D.C. yet. I have not heard back from D.C. Pearson yet. 
But well, if you I really want to tackle them, well, they, you think your insurance doesn't think, well, we can take it to the couch. Okay, we'll see. And, Kalstead, you got to get in touch with us and let us know how we can get you on the show or how we can come visit you, okay? Okay, I will send you an email. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Kalstead, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That was a fun moment. I don't know if it was tender or warm or reveal. Oh, okay. Okay. I do not like this guy. Okay, somebody say vacation. I don't. Vacation! Oh, my God, say Jason. Jason! All right, when I say ultimate, you say vacation. All right, tonight... I got a question. Ultimate. Vacation! Yeah, you guys are good. You guys like comedy? Yeah! You guys like characters? Yeah! Yeah, well, I'm, I'm officially a comedian now. So tonight, I thought I'd debut a new comedy character. And we're all gonna have a good time. You ready for this? Wow. Okay, one second. Why have you been on the show for a year and a half if you're just starting comedy now? This fucking guy, Jason, Jason, you are the pits. You still have a little on your nose. Okay. <laughs> Hey everybody, uh, my name is Riley Soliner. <laughs> and, uh, this guy I'm, I like, this guy I like. Hi, hi Chris, big fan. Um, Likewise. Uh, I've, I'm a performer at the UCB Theater and uh, I, have a, I had a great time, I'm having a great time there. And, <laughs> so, uh, and uh, let's see, about a year and a half ago in January 2011, I was on a road trip to, uh, from New York to LA and it was in a fantastic time, it was actually with the Chris Gethard Show on the Cross Country Adventure. It was super fun. And uh, we, uh, a bunch of people drove an RV and I was in it. And uh, at one point, I don't think Shannon's ever gonna admit this, but Shannon <laughs> O'Neill, this is a softer side of Shannon O'Neill, by the way. She was very, very encouraging to me back when I was still just kind of finding my place in the community and what I wanted to do there. And so um, she was the very first person to tell me that I had to write uh, 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 my one-person show, which eventually became a show called Vacation Jason's Island Flavors. Sorry, guys. <laughs> See? <laughs> See? You can't do it. You she cannot show it. your softer side. It's fine. It's fine, Shannon. It's fine. And the Look thing how proud you are that you found a way to put a wall up in the middle of this. <laughs> it's totally fine. We know that she's great and a sweetheart. And, and like, uh, back to me. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I had a really hard time writing the show because I want, I meant the subject matter meant a lot to me and I wanted it to be a really good show. And just when I thought I was going to give up for the last time, I read this. It was on Abby Jacobson's blog. It said, uh, it's a quote. It says, you are not meant to walk up a small hill with little effort to look at an okay view of an okay city that's, that a lot of others can see also. You're meant to climb a mountain with little or no gear have moments where you want to sleep in a cave for days, but you crawl out, get to the top of that mountain, and when you do, the view will be mind-blowing and it will be yours and only yours. And Shannon O'Neill said that, and it hit me at just the right time. And it's, it's just, she, I, she inspired me to really write the show that I wanted to write, and now uh, my show made it as an official show Don't at UCB, and I'm very proud. I'm not going to plug it tonight. Don't plug that I'm it's not... tomorrow night. <laughs> no, okay. Don't you plug that Vacation Jason Island Flavors is at UCB tomorrow night and on the first night it's of its not, official though, run. Right? Wait, is it, it? A, is it at the, e the theater in the East Village or I the Chelsea Theater? I think it's at the Chelsea the Theater. Don't you yeah, bring that up. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> Don't okay. you bring that up. Yeah, I think it might be tomorrow. I don't like yeah. Vacation Jason. I don't like that he got an official run. Don't well, you bring it up. Well, Starts well, tomorrow. A lot of people like Vacation Jason, and I think he's pretty rad. All right. Now wait, because Shannon, that looks like it affected you. What? That looks like it affected you. Oh, it's just kind of creepy that he's looking on the internet for shit I said. <laughs> no, I, just, I swear to God, it just popped up. Uh, <laughs> Mountains and hills and shit you're talking Well, anyway, yeah, yeah. you know, I just, I like, honestly, thank you, Shannon. You really inspired me, yeah. and you, you set me on the right path. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. Riley Soliner, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a very sentimental show tonight. We have not broken through to Shannon yet. She's still full of jokes. And her guard is up. None of this. I want people calling asking for advice, too, because she gives great advice. I can vouch for it. Tommy Guns, our friend in Vegas, said 
he wanted to call and ask for advice tonight, but he was scared if he got it wrong, you'd punch him in the dick. That's what he said. I don't even, I can't punch him in the dick. He's in another seat. He thinks you'll show up and do it anyway. Would, uh, Ladies and gentlemen, anyway. right now, though, let's everybody get up on our feet. Let's dance. Let's go nuts. Our musical guests tonight are some great friends of the show. They put on one of the defining musical performances their first time with us. You can read all about them at Stumblebomb Brass Band. They'll be playing at Littlefield on November 1st with a whole bunch of other bands who have played our show. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back the Stumblebomb! <laughs> Check. They kept it secret, man. That was awesome. Murph, talk to us about Shannon. Right here, face to face. Maybe that'll get through to her. Oh, Shannon. Shannon. I've, <laughs> I've, uh, I've got to, to, uh, to fall in love with you creatively over the last year. You're a wonderful improv teacher. Um, Thank you. And, uh, yes, yes. Had a lot of great moments in class with you and uh, had so much fun with you on the road. Uh, traveling with the Gethard Show. Yep. Um, <laughs> Don't feel like you're just going to stare yeah. into your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this one's awkward. <laughs> this one I agree with Shannon Murphy. This is uncomfortable. It is. <laughs> I think it's uncomfortable for Murph. And yes, yeah, for all of us. It is. No, no, no. Shannon's yeah. great. Everybody Shannon's fucking best. knows Shannon's great. Yes. Let's go and see our next caller. See what this is. Anonymous. Say. Anonymous. Jesus. Okay. Anonymous, welcome to the show. Hello? Yeah, Anonymous. How's it going? Um, this is really strange, because I've actually never told anyone this, so I'm going to put, like, a sad mood on the whole show. But I self-injure, and I'm bulimic, and I know I need to stop, but I don't know how. Okay. So when self-injuring, 
I'm gonna say, I don't, I, this is where I say like, I don't have the answers for this. I am not a licensed therapist. I'm okay. not even putting a wall up. It's like, you gotta get real help. That's true. Fair That's my advice is get real help. Fair enough. Are you getting real help right now? No. You gotta get on that. Yeah. You gotta like, do talk, it. Talk to someone, you know, like a parent. Talk to a good friend. And don't be scared to go to a doctor. They can help. Yeah. That's what they're there for. There's so many people that have problems that everyone else has. So you're, I think your situation is not unusual. There's a lot of people like you out there. Just like there's like a lot of people that are alcoholics. There's a lot of people that, you know, have all sorts of problems. And I think that's great. You guys are getting me now. This is where uh, I think I've realized like you have a problem. It's like you, you literally are not. I mean, you are alone because you feel alone, but you're not alone as in, as in like lots of people have these same problems and there are people that can help you. So like you going to someone who deals with that, they're not going to make you feel shamed for what you're going through. Like you shouldn't feel shame for what you're doing, but you right now calling in is step one and now call a help like, or like go to a hospital or go, somebody will help you. That first call to the doctor is the hardest one, but I, I can speak from experience. After that yeah. first one, it's, it gets much easier. Yeah. My shrink regularly tells me that I'm not the craziest person she sees. <laughs> it's really probably professionally inappropriate, but it helps me a lot. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah. You're not, you're, you're, you're not gonna alone. be okay. You're yeah. not broken. You'll go get help. Yeah. You should, yeah, yeah, yeah. And don't feel, yeah. <laughs> you should. Feel sh no one should ever feel shame for whatever. No one is perfect. Everyone yeah. has their own thing. Everyone has flaws. That's what makes the world awesome. That's what makes us different. That's what makes, you know, when you are like creative with other people, it's like you're all different and you all make these cool things together. Or if you're not a creative person, you're, you're still doing cool things because you, you're, you're an individual still. Uh, but yeah, it's like, don't, no one should, uh, I mean, you say it's always, and you know what it is? It's always so much easier said than done. I think I give, and I think I, I do give advice. Like, you know, friends ask, and it's like so much easier to be like, hey, you got to do this. But then do I do it myself? No, of course not. Like none of us. It's so much easier to give advice than it is to follow your own advice. So, yeah. So just, yeah, just get, just make that call. Make that like your to-do list tomorrow. You're yeah. going to call for help. I wouldn't even, don't even watch the rest of the show, okay. just call right now, because... The, no, 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 wait the, till tomorrow. No, <laughs> no, 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 no I know, it, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Do it now, because I think you build things up, and then they become like a, a challenge, and you just have to strike, like you just have to do it. Yeah, like you and already you, called somebody and said it out loud on the phone once yeah. tonight, so it might as well not be a public access TV show, you know yeah. what I mean? It might as well be someone... <laughs> I, bet if you, I bet if you Google, you, you, can, you can find like a 1-800 number for... Uh, to like talk to someone who can then probably give you someone in your in your area uh, something to help with. But yeah, I, I do agree okay. with Bethany. It's like you're feeling it right now. Oh, I want to get help, so do it now. Because you could fall asleep and wake up in the morning and be like, oh, I'm okay. I'm not going to do this anymore. But it's like, or it's I think like call scary again. Yeah, or it's like scary again. So yeah, call for the help. Go for it and let it, call yeah. us back. Let us know how you're doing. Okay, we got your back. Okay. All right, there we go. All right, good advice. Yeah. I could have, I was positive that was about to be Joe from Queens. Oh, I know. I was so certain it was Joe from Queens. Could not be further from Joe from Queens. Yeah, yeah that brought, that, was, that got real. But that's advice I think anyone in the audience can take. I think that's true. Yeah, All not right. just for her and ourselves. I love you, Shannon O'Neill. Yeah, okay. Uh, I love Chris Gethard, come on. Now. I know, I send you so many sad text messages in the middle of the night, don't I? Over the years, ever since I got a phone with texts. <laughs> it's true, pretty much as soon as, oh, like the, yeah. night, the way I tested that was being like, Spo, can't sleep, scared, nervous. <laughs> like literally, I, I do that what, six times a year to you? Yeah, probably. <laughs> and always like when I've just fallen asleep. Okay. <laughs> I love nothing more than bothering you with my emo bullshit. From a suburban white guy's life whose parents are still married. I'm hearing we got to go to our film right now. I'm very excited about it. Our friend Banana Man, um, he's come to know you very well. And Shannon, our friend Banana Man, uh, in more, his more human guise, is here to intro the film tonight. Yeah, speaking of things leaving the body, 
Uh, there is <laughs> something that I've been working on for a while. This is serious. This is serious. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this or not. I went to NYU for film school, and there's a shot that I've been trying to get for five years. I came up with this idea five years ago, and that's a dog pooping in slow-mo uh, because I want to reverse the footage so that the poop will be going back up its butt. Uh, this is... I thought of this idea five years ago. Finally, Rob Malone and I set out to do it. Uh, this is episode one. This is going to be a very long, important series. And Shannon as a dog and, lover. Well, I was going to save it. this for after. I was going to tie Shannon in after we watched oh, it. But I if you want to do it now, Chris, no, no, we can no, tie it. Whatever you, sorry, I blew, I blew your I'd wide, man. i do it after. Okay, yeah. <laughs> let's go ahead. Let's watch the debut of uh, Scatadogical, a Haskell and Malone production. Hey, skill. A K-Skill production, sorry. Uh. My ideal shot, like the shot that I want more than any other shot in the entire world, is a dog pooping in slow-mo reverse. As a filmmaker, that's the shot. Are your goals in life, that's my goal as a filmmaker, is to capture that moment. I'm gonna film you pooping someday, doggy. I'm gonna get footage of you in slow-mo reverse. Oh, what's that? You got a friend? Oh, double trouble. So today's the first day of principal photography on Scott Dogger Cole. You wanna clap? I'm willing to do whatever it takes to get this shot. Whatever it takes to get a shot of a dog pooping in slow-mo, just so that I can reverse it, so that the poop goes back up his butt slowly. I'm there, count me in. My friends Andy and Liz have a dog named Pip. It's a beautiful dog. We're gonna have a really good day. Got lots of equipment. We got a GoPro camera shooting at 120 frames per second. That's very slow. A 50 prime, I have a macro lens. This is gonna be fun. Do you understand, Pip? Following Pip for about five blocks, I'd guess. And she peed, she didn't poop yet. I'm in good spirits. I think Pip's in good spirits. Andy seems to be in good spirits. You know, we don't have all the time in the world. She might not have to go. She can't. Pip is like the most gorgeous dog. This is some of the best footage I've gotten all day. So we just spent about an hour and a half walking Pip. Uh, she did not go to the bathroom. She peed, didn't poop. And we got some good footage. We got good footage of Pip, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for good footage of Pip pooping in slow mo, and then we're going to reverse that. Poop for me, Pip! Mmm, Pip. Mmm, more of that. Mmm. Stick to humans, and I can have you, Pippi, Pippi, Pippi. You're gonna make me so famous, Pippi. Pip, let's make sweet love. Let's make sweet love. Let's f Pip. F me. F me like a dog, Pip. But Shannon is a dog lover, so I dedicate that video to you. Oh, thank you very much. That's an honor. <laughs> and Shannon also said that she would help out, that we could uh, film her dog one yeah. day. Sure. That's yeah. how that ties in. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> nice. I told I you my dog taking shit. Thank yeah. you. And congratulations. I hope that you nail it someday. Appreciate it. In the meantime, 
Joe from Queens is on the line, an old enemy of yours, Shannon. Yeah. Joe from Queens, welcome back to the show. I don't know if tonight's the night. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. How are you? I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm just calling to uh, honor old uh, uh, sourpuss over there. <laughs> you do like to call up and call Shannon a sourpuss. Yeah, that was a generous. Uh, congratulations on your <laughs> night. Thank you. I got something for you. Hold on. This does not sound like Joe from Queens. No, I think so it's him. I haven't heard Joe from Queens in a while, though. <laughs> Is that a queef? <laughs> yeah, Joe, what God bless you, Shannon. God bless you. You're beautiful. Okay. This doesn't sound like Joe from Queens. No. Joe from Queens is a lot funnier than that. <laughs> I don't... Was that the real Joe? He bailed. I think that's fake Joe. Let's go yeah. to Drew on the Upper East Side. Drew, welcome. Yes. How are you? Good. You? I'm pretty good. <laughs> awesome. Cool. <laughs> How's the Upper East Side? That's correct. <laughs> okay. That was correct. Am I on the show right now? Yeah, you are. You're currently. You've been on the show. You've been on the show for a while. Love that, Chris. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me. It's Chris. My name's Chris. Yeah. So Chris, we're gonna open up Shannon, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. You're asking Shannon for advice, giving Shannon oh, yeah? your impressions okay. of her. Yeah. What I'd really rather know about Shannon is Shannon. I'm talking to you. Wink. First of all. What? Okay, Drew. What, what's going on, man? All right. So Shannon, you know, Chris, big fan. Shannon, bigger fan. Shannon, what I really want to know is, I'm a big fan of Jersey Dave. What? Right? And what I really want to see is Jersey Dave come on the show, and I want you to rank him on a scale of 1 to 10 in sexy. Who do you want Shannon to rank sexiness? Jersey Dave, and who else? Jersey Dave. Just Jersey Dave? Just Jersey Dave. Okay, so Jersey Dave making maybe his second appearance on the show. Yeah. Jersey Dave. Well, I'm going to rank Jersey Dave. On a scale of one to ten, asshole. Some asshole is friends with Jersey Dave. Jersey, so Drew, Jersey Dave wants you to know, fuck you. I think Jersey Dave is right. Okay, he's a friend. I say, I give him a ten. Yeah. I would say, I would say, this is a tangent. I don't. I would have given him to Shannon. What's that? That's what I would have given him to. All right, great. great. Drew, thank you for the Thanks, call. Drew. Jersey Dave, stay up here. I'm going to host it. I know this is a big tangent away from your night, Shannon. I think yeah. Jersey Dave, one of the sexier crew members of the show. <laughs> Jersey, I would say, Jersey Dave! Jersey Dave. I would say that. Who else? I mean, I would say Hot Dog Parrish gets a lot of attention from the ladies. Where's Hot Dog? Hot Dog Parrish, great looking man. Hot Dog, where are you at? Ken Beck's over there. Ken Beck? That's a great big beer. That's a big cut of beef right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Beck, get out of here, man. Oh, man, you got to have a bachelor Where's night Hot the Dog? Show? Oh, we should. We should. Dude, we should have a night where we yeah, come up with a weird box. Hot Dog. Beef off. Merch just said a beef off. A beef off. Yeah. 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 Because an idea is brewing. They're, we're talking about all, a beef. Are off. you all single? No. I no, no. No, I don't know that. Anyway. with my girlfriend. Oh. Girlfriend, <laughs> beef girlfriend, great friend of the show. Girlfriend, great friend of the show. Rob, a man of mystery. What's wrong with having a beef off? <laughs> <laughs> Rob is willing to have at least. Having a beef off. <laughs> Rob, even if it's a one man beef off, you're ready to go there? <laughs> what, are we to, what are we to do? Even if it's a one-man beef off, I'm ready to go. There. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know what you'd have to do. What would you guys be willing to do as far as being a part of a beef off without crossing any boundaries in your relationship? I don't want to exploit you. I would never. I would never. You're allowed to get beef. beef. You're allowed to get beef. <laughs> so it's not like we're trying to get you to go out with women. We're seeing who's the beef to you. <laughs> Woo! Sure. I'm gonna go ahead and say we got we got the Cannes Film Festival next week already announced. Can't change that. We got Halloween. We got the election. We're covering the election for MNN. Yeah. I think the week after that, so a month from now, <laughs> I'd say we go ahead, we have this beef off. Let's marinate this beef for a month. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed it, Murph. So you guys all let your beef marinate. This means you guys got a month to work out. 
You got a month to drink protein shakes. You got a month to strategize about your facial and body hair patterns. I don't think it should. I don't think it. No shaving. I don't think it should just be physical, though. Okay. What else do you think? I think there's like there's like. Emotional. emotional. No, <laughs> intelligent. There's emotional beef. Intelligent. There's talented beef. Talent beef. There's intelligent beef. Intelligence beef. There's spicy beef. A spicy beef. beef. <laughs> there's, Who knows what that means? There's athletic beef. Athletic beef. There's uh, caring beef. Caring beef. <laughs> I'm caring and spicy beef. <laughs> we'll see about that. So, oh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's, hey. official, it's official one month from tonight. The first ever beef up. 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 That's a lot of beef. A lot of beef. These four men will compete in a beef up one month from today. Becky, are you looking forward to that? Have you ever seen this much beef in one place? <laughs> Never. <laughs> okay, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Drew from the Upper East Side, thank, thank you for you, being our inspiration. Marty from Canada, welcome to the show. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. How are you? I'm pretty good. First of all, uh, you guys are really classy with uh, that uh, call you got earlier. You, you guys are really, really classy. Thanks, man. We thank do you. our best. We do our best. Um, I, I'm... Uh, I just discovered your show about uh, one week ago. Okay, welcome. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm watching them back to back. And I, 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 you guys, uh, you know, we don't have to find a softer side to Shan. And I think she's, uh, she's great. Okay. I like her. Yeah, this. she shouldn't change. I, I like her, uh, her tough side. So, uh, Shannon, just uh, stay like that. Okay. <laughs> so up in up in uh, up in up in Quebec, it sounds well, like. Marty, yeah, yeah, Montreal. Like CTV sketch. You're so can <laughs> you're so Canadian. You are very Canadian, Marty. Have you heard that from Americans before? If I, I'm, I'm sorry, repeat that. Your voice, your accent. It, it is. It is. Uh, Murph wants you to know. It sounds very Canadian, like an SCTV sketch. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm French speaking. Uh, English is my second language. Bonjour. Welcome to the yeah, show. Bonjour. Yes. I can say sur la plage. Je m'appelle Chanel. Okay. Marty, thank you so much for that. Words and encouragement from the great north. We really appreciate it. And I, I agree, Shannon's great. Tonight is more of a tribute to her than anything really trying to break her down. In the meantime, they kicked the fucking shit out of us a few minutes ago. Would you not agree? I see people getting amped up to seeing them line back up at the mics. Ladies and gentlemen, they brought the heat before. Let's get ready for round two and see if we can even keep up with these motherfuckers. The Stumble Bum Brass Band! <laughs> Gentlemen, 
I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do what they just did here at our show. You know what I'd like to see? What's that? I wish they could get back out here, play a song, and have you do the Ritz Carlton to it. Yeah! 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 Woo! Ritz Carlton! Ritz Carlton! Ritz Carlton! Don't have any Ritz! Ritz Carlton! There you do right here! Oh. was we don't have any <laughs> and that's two laps 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 laps. Laps. I'm gonna go ahead on a record I'm gonna say this right now I'm saying this one time it is not gonna become a thing where I'm forced to do the Ritz Carlton every week it is not we have eight minutes left you're lying no yes oh, why wait okay great that's never happened Ariel from Long Island welcome back to the show <laughs> How are you, Arya? I'm good. Um, first of all, I want to say um, I started calling in like halfway through the show because I was doing college applications. Okay. And um, seeing you do that dance just made my night so much better after a whole night. <laughs> Arya, can you explain to me why people like that video? <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. It's not amazing. Um, it's the worst. It's amazing. It's not. <laughs> So, Ariel, what's up? How's the college applications going? Do you have any questions for Shannon? What, what are we talking about tonight? Um, well, I just want to say, first of all, I wrote um, one of my college applications for University of Chicago about the Chris Gethard show. You wrote, so, uh, uh, wait, you wrote about us? Yeah, you guys mean a lot to me, and I watch you guys every week, and, you know, you really taught me to be unique, and I hate to get cheesy, but it just, you guys are like, Well, that's really nice. Know, you anchor my week. So, wait, which, which college did you write about us for your application? Uh, University of Chicago. So cross that one right off the list. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't getting okay. in there. I guess it, I will. I mean, my mom's not too thrilled about it, but... Can we... Are we allowed essay. to see a copy of that essay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll send it to you guys as soon as I press submit, you know. Um, send that shit But over. about Shannon, mm -hmm. um, so Shannon, I don't know if you remember, but you were my Improv 101 teacher this summer. Okay. Um, okay. And... You were the best teacher. You were in an intensive with you and Anthony. Mm -hmm. um, and we had a really tough class. We had some 16-year-olds who were kind of, like, bratty and annoying. But you really made everyone feel Shannon super welcome and super that. into improv and super into comedy. And um, you made, you know, everyone feel like they were on equal playing fields. And I just, you know, I wanted to ask, like, how do you keep doing that, even if you have to put up with really annoying people like there were in our class, in my opinion? Theoretically, because, course, not necessarily in this so class. Well, because like I said before, everyone is, uh, everyone comes from a different background. Everyone is like their own person, so you can't, uh, I try not to judge people based off of like who I am. It's kind of like, you know, people are all raised differently. They're also, uh, when you're, you know, where you are in life, you kind of act differently, like sometimes, you know, or like what you've gone through, you act differently. So you kind of have to, like when I said, accept people for like, you accept yourself for your flaws. You kind of have to learn to accept people for their flaws and uh, realize their flaws aren't a, like an attack on you. It's just like who they are. So, uh, and I get like, you know, and I get paid to do it. So I got to fucking do it. <laughs> Uh, and I get paid to do it. You can't, no, but you that can't is, no, go no, the no, whole no, no, time. No, no, no. You no, couldn't no, no, do no, it. No. Can't do it. No, but that's what it is. You have to, you, you know, it is. And I, I am not one to say that I, I enjoy everyone, but I want every, I do when I'm teaching, I want everyone to uh, feel welcome and feel like they're given the chance okay. regardless of whatever. Yeah. 
But yeah. again, I don't, I would never say that, oh, everyone is wonderful, you know, I love everybody, because, you know, there's people that fucking piss the shit out of me, <laughs> just like anyone. But that's, that's part of, that's true. part of the world, like, you're not going to get along with everyone, but, but that's want, how I do it, I kind of like, oh, this person. Do you want to hear my favorite moment of you and you don't know I know about it? <sighs> sure. Are you sure? As long as you're not revealing anything that's like. No, nothing personal, okay. yeah. something nice you did for me and you don't know I know about it. Okay. When we did, years ago, I rented a bus. It was kind of the first weird thing I did, one of the first big weird shows. I rented a bus and took people around New Jersey and showed them places from my life and told stories there. Uh -huh. And you were on the bus. Uh -huh. We went to my parents' house. And when everybody left, you hung back, my mom told me, and you just walked up to her and you said, Chris is going to make it, and walked away. I didn't necessarily think I was going to make it. My parents have always been so scared, and I think you made them feel okay about me trying this stuff. Yeah. I mean, so I did. Oh. I want them to know, like, it's okay what your son's doing. <laughs> In a way, you know? Keep and you telling know, them that when yeah. you run into them. <laughs> we haven't heard from the human fish. I wish we could, because the human fish, you, you don't have mastery of English, so you can't tell us what you think of Shannon, which is a shame. <sighs> <laughs> Bethany as well. I want to hear from Bethany. Shannon. <laughs> Whoa. Shannon versus what? Shannon ver- mm, 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 mm. Oh. oh. No ver- Shannon, thank you for being here. Oh. Versus what? <laughs> That's it. Bethany Hall, Shannon, thoughts? Oh, well, Shannon knows how much I love her. She's one of- I had a whole story, but we don't have time. But, um, <laughs> but Shannon like won't accept your Facebook request unless she wants to be your friend. And that sounds like a really <laughs> no, unless I've like met you. Unless she's met you. Unless, like I, I've you had no some interest sort of... in false personal. No, no, yeah. Unless and I had some sort of conversation or like you know, even if it's like a hey, what's up? I accept anyone. Yeah, I don't. I accept anyone. Anybody. anyone. <laughs> anybody. Yeah. Uh, but I think that like Shannon's such a. <laughs> My favorite, like, she's not friends, you're not friends with everyone, you don't make time for everyone, but when you, when somebody needs you, you're there because you, you care about the people you care about, and you're really good at, like, sure. loving people, and I find myself always just wanting everyone to like me, and everyone to, like, just, well, I want everyone's approval, and you're so good at just being so grounded and, and focused and loving the people that you love, and that's, I think, just the coolest thing. Well, thank you, Bethany. Oh. You can't. Uh... <laughs> yeah. Did we do it? Are we gonna do it? I was hoping you would cry. No, no I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> what can we do to make you cry Show in the last sixty seconds? Show me old Geller getting shot in the head. Man behind the plate. Man behind the plate. Call it up. Man behind the plate. Quick, quick, quick. I won't. Quick, quick. I won't cry to it now. I have to watch the whole movie. Plant, you call up that Gotta dog. Gotta watch the whole movie. You don't have much time, man behind the plate. Get on that shit. Old Geller shot in the head. We have Googled it. No. Images, movies, man, behind the plant. Man, behind the plant, you want the You want the video. YouTube. 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 You are our internet experts. You are failing me. You are you failing. <laughs> there was a YouTube link. Old Yeller shot in head quick. I won't quick. cry to it now. You will cry to it. It's no. a beautiful moment. Old oh, Yeller oh. rabies scene. Do it, do it, do it. Let's do it. Shannon. Can you do this legally? I don't know. Who <laughs> cares? <laughs> they, nobody can sue us. They all know we have no money. Get to the end, man, behind the plant. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we love Shannon. Thank you for watching the show. Thank you for everybody who called in. Ariel from Long Island. Thank you. Aaron from New York. You got cut off. Hey, it's Random George. I, I love Random George. Random George, welcome back. You hate Random George. Those are fucking crazy sneakers, Random George. <laughs> Random George is handing out old sneakers. We will be back next week with the camera. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, Who wants old <laughs> Happy birthday, Random Ellen. We miss you. Random Anisha, join us. That seat is yours. Oh, thank you, Random George. This is, I don't know what this is. Who is this? 
Emmy on the plant, you fucked up the end so bad. You fucked up the end of the episode so bad, and I'll never forgive you. Goodbye, live stream. Thank you guys so much. We'll be back next week at the Cannes Film Festival. And with updates on the beef off, come back next Wednesday. Tell your friends we'll be here. Where is it? Get to it, Emmy. It's coming right now. Hold the music. Let's turn the volume up on that. Do it because. Don't let it happen. Get the show. We're all gonna spend our night together watching an animal get killed. If a dog doesn't die, it's not a good show. You said it, Random Brian. <laughs> oh my God. Shannon, you gotta watch. I'm not gonna watch it. Why? The little boy is so sad, but he's gotta do it. <laughs> Shannon, it would be cruel not to. Shannon, it's meaner not to. Than to let him he live like that. He just shot him. Damn you, too. Way to drop the ball on the volume, man, behind the plant. <laughs> That's our show! <laughs> Shannon said, Is he really running for president? And someone said, yeah, he's really running. And she said something along the lines of like, that's unbelievable. Like she couldn't believe it. Which I took as a big vote of confidence. Like, I don't want to say endorsement. I don't want to put words in her mouth. But I remember when I heard that Shannon had said, I can't believe he's running for president. It just meant a lot. Like it, it touched me as a person, not just as a politician, not just as a candidate. And, and uh, just really, I don't know. I, I feel like it, it gave me that extra. I was going to keep running anyway. Even if she had, even if Shannon had said, uh, no, uh, I, I believe that or I don't care or whatever like that, I still would have run. But it was an extra boost to know that Shannon, like that she had, like it, it provoked a reaction, you know? So uh, part of me feels like, a small part of me feels like when I win the presidency, like part of that victory goes to Shannon O'Neill. Uh, Oh, no, please, please don't. I don't, I don't know what this is. No, 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 God, no, I don't want. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I don't speak Greek. What, bankrupt? No, thank you. I want the, Greece is, is practically ruining the Eurozone. I, no, nothing personal, but that's a, not a model for our economy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you, but the Greek economy is a shambles, and they're going to bring Europe down with them. Hi, Random Orlando. Get down, get down with me. Uh, shall Make it relevant to the campaign and in Espanol, please. Shannon O'Neill is a person very good and will vote for you when you are the president. See? Shannon O'Neill, bacana. What role do you think Shannon would play in a Ratliff administration, do you think? Uh, la próxima Hillary Clinton. Como Hillary Clinton. Oh. All right. <laughs> Random George, uh, do you have a do you have a Shannon O'Neill memory or experience? Yes. First time that I was here. Uh, All right. I get very little airtime on the show, and I don't have a bit in the show. This is really my only moment. Brands that he likes as well. Uh, fuck. Ah, ah, damn it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, fine, fine.